Hey everybody, this is David from Braved. I thought I'd just give a quick summary of the video since it's kind of long um, and honestly it's a pretty easy solution for the most part, or at least it was in my case. The video is a little bit longer because it kind of goes through the process of taking it apart and figuring out what the problem was. But anyways, my problem was that I was missing a cotter pin from the shear pin. So the shear pin is what connects the motor to the auger and then the cotter pin just holds the shear pin in place. So at some point when I was moving the Traeger around and doing some cooking or whatever, I don't know what happened to it, but it disappeared. So in the, throughout the course of this video, I basically just made another cotter pin for the shear pin using whatever I had on hand. Uh, if this is not your problem, then at least you can watch part of the video so you can see how I took apart the pellet tray thing to get into the section where the motor and the auger even are. But yeah, I thought I would give you a heads up in case you just don't have time on your hands. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Here's the actual video. Um, where do I even go? Hey guys, what's up? This is David from Braven. I'm here today to fix my Traeger grill because the last time that I turned it on, I got smoke and that's it for like 10 seconds and the auger's not turning. So I'm gonna troubleshoot it and figure out what's wrong with it. I'm gonna show you what this thing is doing. So I got it plugged in here. Go down and kick this baby on. Um, you turn it on. I guess what I'm trying to say is the auger's not putting any pellets in And that is the problem. Take a look in here, right? You see that auger? No movie. And if I turn up the thingy, and we get nerfing. Okay, I haven't pulled one of these things apart at all. So, I'm gonna assume that pulling, there's four screws on either side here. I'm gonna pull them apart and we're gonna see if we gotta do more than that to get to what I'm trying to get to figure out here. All right, here we go. Okay, all right. First thing I learned here is we're gonna pull off this control panel. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do this. There we go. Hey, there we go. All right. Bad shot, probably. All right, come here, come here. I wanna show you. I wanna show you what I'm looking at, dude. This thing right here, this tape just kinda frick. That's not gonna work. I don't know, I can put some more tape on it later, right? Or this thing can dangle, it's wangle. I don't really care to be quite frank. All right, this thing is free. What the frick is this? Oh, no way, is this my problem? So take a look right here, okay? See this part? So this is the little motor, I'm assuming, that drives the auger, okay? And you see right there, it's got little holes in it. When I open this puppy up, this Sheer. pin was laying like right here. To confirm my theory, watch this. I'm going to turn it on. And we're gonna turn it on smoke. And the question is, does this turn? And if you watch it ever so slowly, it turns. So yeah, I think I've already found the problem. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn it off. Turn off the smoky Pelokey. All right, get this puppy lined up. I'm gonna pop the pin in. I'm gonna ruin my lighting. Wow. Oh. <laughs> we'll turn this on. Pow. Turn on smoke. And hey, check it out, boys. That is one turning auger. Okay. Cool. Now I gotta turn this off before I set the garage on fire. So off you go. All right, you guys, here's the deal. I found out it does require a cotter pin, as you can see here, that I do not have anymore. I am going to pretend I'm smart, and I have an ethernet cable here that I'm just going to rob a piece of copper from and use that as a cotter pin. Mm. Ugh. Wanna make us a cotter pin? Car car what the frick am I saying? I'm making a cotter pin, that's what I'm trying to do here. Oh. Ugh, all right, let's 
survive to death another day. So we're just gonna pull one of these puppies out. Do something like this, and we're just gonna see, we're just gonna see if it fits out the gate. Cause if it fits out the gate, I'm not stripping the copper. What? Oh! Like, look at this crap. It doesn't go through the other side. 180, boom, nothing. All right, I gotta have a right good think about this, okay? Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to do some caveman engineering here, <laughs> cause I, I'm, I'm sure there's like a Traeger part that costs like a thousand dollars that I don't want to buy right now, and I don't have time cause I want pizza tonight. So, this is kinda what I came up with. I, I'll just put it in the thing and just see if it works, cause if it works, I'm just totally gonna do that. All right, here we go. The test of vigor and valor. Can we cheat the Traeger system? All right, we're gonna pop this up from under to make my life a little easier. I think the thing falls out, so it should go in, right? So here's the bolt thing. What I'm gonna try and do is basically pop it in here, right? Where the frick is it? And then give it the old wrap around. Just kind of giving this thing a couple of wraps and see if it'll stay. That's kind of the clincher, isn't it? We're gonna unwrap a little bit, clip it down. All right, power this back on. Set my garage on fire. Oh. Power on. Smoke on. Auger. Appears to be on. Oh, I just heard a pellet. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now. Okay, okay. Oh. This thing back in there, please. Oh. <laughs> we can get our canal out of here. Hey, there we go. Do we have lift off? How did I get this out? Knob. Hey, look, would you look at that? Hey, what are you doing here, Yoshi? What are you doing? All right, anyways. his grill. Hopefully that helps somebody out there because it sure helped me. All right. Bye.